being censors and that type of thing just because we don't want to fund uh, works of art such as, uh, and I use that term loosely right. with the Robert Meiple for um, photo exhibit where it's the homosexual erotic art and things like that and some of the other performance art where people smear uh, human fecal material on each other or or uh, the guy, what's his name, um, I forget what the guy's name was, but what he did was he took a jar of urine and he immersed a, a crucifix in there and, and that stuff's being paid for by tax dollars. I, I don't see anything wrong with somebody going out and, and pursuing their art on their own money, but when you, know, when, you, when you involve the public, public tax money to fund that type of stuff, you're off the wall. So when the conservatives speak up and say, hey, we don't want to spend money on this stuff, we, we, we abhor it, we think it's off the wall and we don't want to pay for it, then we're looked upon as censors. But yet when, the, when it's on the other foot, and it's a real prevailing win these days, is Christian bashing. We're always talking about people getting down on rush for telling the truth about Bill Clinton and, and things about the, uh, uh, the uh, liberal media here in, in, in America. But when a Christian stands up and wants to be a uh, heavy metal rock and roller or he wants to speak the truth or, or talk about his faith and things like that, just like in the schools, well, hey, we're run out of town on a rail. Uh, we're, we're not allowed to, to talk about the things that are important to us because uh, it's Christianity and right. we're intolerant and, and we're divisive and, and all this other, and we're Neanderthal and all that kind of stuff. So the, the censorship works both ways and, and frankly, we're tired of it. And that's why we have this show on us, because on public access, they, they can't censor you. Right. Unless we get up here and take our clothes off and run naked. <laughs> and then even then, like in Austin, where they had, uh, it was, a, it came on at 2 o'clock. Uh, uh, it was an AIDS awareness group got on there and did a safe sex show. No joke. They had close-ups of, of male and female genitalia. Uh, putting on condoms and, and, and oral sex and masturbation and things like that. And that's on public access. So uh, you'll never see those things on the Hate and Satan show. I no, can guarantee never. you that. But, uh, you know, that's what public access is all about, is that we're, we're able to come on here and, and preach the gospel boldly. We're, we're able to come on here and talk about issues that affect the Christian, the, the Christian community, things that come up in the media. I think it's real important that Christians... Uh, I'm talking too much. <laughs> we're we're gonna take a break and we're gonna we're gonna slam a little bit with a. I don't know who we're slam gonna have cat. on. We'll probably have the Slam Cat on again. <laughs> These are some uh, a really cool band from Oklahoma. In fact, they're coming down November 13th. Why don't y'all stay tuned? Give us a call at 939-9208, and we'll give you some more information later on about the uh, uh, Fall Metal Fest in Austin. And uh, Slam Cat's going to be there and possibly Betrayal. So stay tuned. See ya. We're going to fight him like you said. I'm going to try to get along because we've got a purpose. We've got to fight. That's what's Satan. That's not with each other, man. We've got to stand together and pray, lift each other up, and build each other up because, man, we've got a strong battle out there, folks. we got to get ready. we got to do our work. So the song we're going to do is called Stupidest Things. Uh, basically about, we just need to worry about what God thinks about us. Are we pleasing God? You know, don't care anything else about this world. What people think about you, what your parents or anything, you, you know, God is the one you've got to please. Because when we stand in front of him on you know, judgment day, he's gonna be the one we gotta we gotta account for. And yeah, he's gonna be there. And yeah, we gotta bow to him and only him. Six sons of stupid things.
drums. Uh, so I give him a warm applause. We got Miguel on bass. We got Mr. Kyle Rasmussen on vocals here. And I'm at the top. 